body is actually trying to stop you losing more mm. weight. So the body's really putting up all its defenses. If I'm totally honest, I was disappointed. Now I've seen the weight loss, I can understand how someone would then take it a step further and then maybe not eat for the rest of today or something. Kate's approaching the end of her stay at the detox centre. She's beginning to find the satisfaction of losing weight seductive. She's not supposed to have more than two colonics in a week. I've had three colonics and I'm going to have another one tomorrow. <laughs> Are you becoming addicted? Well, sort of, for now. So how does a week of strict detoxing translate on the scales? You're nine stone, four. You've lost five pound in four days. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Four. Oh, it's good. It's good effort. It's the end of week two, and Kate is dropping weight alarmingly fast compared to Louise. She's gone from nine stone 11 to nine stone four, shedding another seven pounds. Her total weight loss adds up to one stone in just two weeks. But Louise's weight has barely changed. She's gone from eight stone 10 to just eight stone nine and a half, a total weight loss of seven and a half pounds. As the experiment progresses, Louise's body starts to change dramatically. I can almost put my fingers round my waist now. And the doctors begin to worry about Kate. I guess that means I'm developing something approaching an eating disorder. Journalist Louise Burke is halfway through an experiment to shrink to size double zero. This is my breakfast this morning, it's my shake, and I'm absolutely gagging for it. After losing a paltry half pound on a week-long watercress soup diet, she's determined not to fall behind in losing weight. So she's adopted a Hollywood favourite, the protein shake diet. She's existing on just two shakes and one high-protein meal a day, totalling just 800 calories. On top of that, she must work out for two hours every day. So overall, she'll be burning 200 more calories than she's taking in. Although the regime is punishing, it's already beginning to produce results. This used to fit me snug. Now, it sits like this. And Benzard, when he cuddles me, he can feel my bones on my ribcage on my back, which makes him go, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Kate has resurfaced from a lonely week of detox hell. Tonight she's catching up with a group of friends for dinner. Have you lost control of your legs? Right. That wasn't me, I didn't you do that one. Oh my gosh, out of my hand. Oh, sorry. While her friends will be enjoying foie gras and beef bourguignon, Kate is starting a raw foods only diet. For the next week, she'll be on just 1,200 calories a day, less than half her recommended intake. Cheers. 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 Bon appetit. Yeah. Not from anything, Kate. Uh, well, Not from anything. You do look absolutely fantastic at the moment. I'm envious of your skinny jeans look. I don't feel like I'm slim at the moment. Like slim is like Olivia. Sure. I'm not. I'm fat. Yours. So <laughs> Please. I oh, was told by one photographer that I uh, I had a double chin, but I I knew how to rectify it. Air brushing. Um, Pop it off. Well, but if I may, if I may give you a dem demonstration. This is with me, w without putting my tongue to the roof of my mouth. Okay? Do you see that angle? Yes. And this is if I put the tongue to the roof of my mouth. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. That's what Posh Spice does constantly. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron grabs it every week. It's like, talk. I've always told you she practices this. Yeah. That looks amazing. That looks absolutely wow. amazing. Wow. Mushrooms in it. <laughs> <laughs> Life, no life. Life, no life. 
After breaking her diet with a couple of glasses of wine, the alcohol starts to dissolve Kate's will of steel. No, no, I am going to have pudding. <laughs> Kate's taken the spoon. Oh, God. I've just eaten all the sugar out of my mouth. It's like... It's... Oh, fuck. It's not very nice, actually. It's like after a week of having all this shit sucked out of you with colonics and stuff like that, food has become something that's fraught with problems and indigestible stuff. I'm quite the anorexic now. Oh my god, look at my legs. They are actually, I've got actual air between my legs. <laughs> Probably skinny. <laughs> and I'm only going to get skinnier. Oh. It's 9.30 at night and Louise is just home from a two-hour workout at the gym. Her boyfriend Ben is left alone watching TV. Yet again. I'm not really seeing Ben, to be honest. He's got his own life. And he's got things to do and people to see. And at the moment, I can't really go along to any of those things. Does it upset you? Yeah. I think it upsets him as well. Because I just, I feel like I've been taken hostage or something. It's a third wheel in, in, in your relationship. There's two of you and this diet that she's on because there's the food you have to cook, there's the exercise you have to do twice a day, there's the constant conversations about how Louise would like to eat something other than what she's eating. I could not continue like this and continue with Ben because I know Ben wouldn't want, wouldn't want me as his girlfriend if I continued like this. It's the end of week three and Kate remains well ahead of Louise. She's on course to get to a double zero. She's dropped from 9 stone 4 to 9 stone 1, bringing her total weight loss to an alarming 1 stone 3 pounds. Louise has gone from 8 stone 9.5 to 8 stone 7.5. Her total weight loss is now 9.5 pounds. I don't know, I'm not that thin really, yet, at all. These clavicles, if I go like that. There's that weird thing as well with that kind of red carpet um, chest, that red carpet decolletage, which where you can just see kind of ribs basically. Breasts and ribs. I haven't quite reached that yet, but it's, it's getting there. Do you know what I think when we're doing this? I imagine there'd be all sorts of women all over the country going, she's not thin, she's fat. You can never be too thin or too rich. You can never be too thin. Despite not losing as much weight as Kate, Louise has noticed her body is starting to change dramatically. I can almost put my fingers round my waist now. I'm thin here. Um, these bones here are really bony. I feel too skinny now. To see your body disturb you, yeah, when I'm on some of the equipment in the gym and I'm moving my arms and I can see like my a hole for my armpit and I can see my bony shoulders and I look all angular. Yesterday I saw on the news that something like over a million people have eating disorders now. They had some young people with eating disorders on the telly speaking and they described the symptoms and every single symptom was something that I've been experiencing. Um, more sensitive to the cold, um, tiredness and lack of concentration, uh, constant exercising. I'm, I am doing constant exercising, but I'm also, I feel I'm getting quite obsessive about it. And if I haven't quite clocked up those two hours, I get really annoyed with myself. Back at home, Kate's experienced a sudden setback. Over the morning, she's devoured the entire contents of her fridge. I suddenly realised that I've basically been eating all day. I guess this is what you might call a binge. In fact, I've got 
got a plate of quinoa, ancient South American grain here right now. And